Hi there, this is Anastasia Hodge, a.k.a. Coach Ace. Welcome to Ace and Rich Freedom by Design's YouTube channel, the place to come to learn how to make money online because nobody teaches digital marketing like Ace and Rich. Thank you so much for stopping by today. And if it's your first time here, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to our channel. And be sure to stay tuned to the very end. I'm going to give everyone a special promo code for watching this video. All right, now let's go ahead and find out what is today's topic and what is today's newest tutorial. As promised in the last video, I was going to teach you how to create a color overlay over your images when it comes to using PixTeller. That's right, we have a new PixTeller tutorial today. I love PixTeller. I've been using it for a while now and I'm really excited because I'm an honorary affiliate of it. And on top of that, I'm sponsored by PixTeller now, so they are actually sponsoring this video, so thank you, PixTeller. Now, what I wanna do is show you exactly how simple it is to create a color overlay. Now, why is this important? Well, when it comes to graphic design, you know, I do know from my experience as doing, you know, freelance graphics online by myself, I'm self-taught, and I actually have great skill sets when it comes to this, but not at the point that I could use Photoshop or CSS to create this kind of effect. Thank goodness to the internet that we can actually have access to tools and free resources online. And that was how I was able to find PixTeller to be helpful. When I opened up a free account with PixTeller, I was able to learn how to create gradient effects. And in my last video, I actually did that, which is video number six. So make sure that you watch video number, I think it's six or seven. I guess it's seven. Yes, watch the last video. I'll post the link below here so you can watch how to do it and actually be able to create your own image and graphic effects, creating a gradient type of effect for your images. Now, today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to the screen and I'm gonna show you how to create a promo flyer or a special type of promo post on your social media websites. Let's say, for example, you have a special promotion going on and you wanna give a discount to your customers, right? So best thing to do is to make it attractive, make it very appealing to the market. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Let's go to the screen. Okay, great. So now you can see right here on my screen, all right, I have my PixTeller account open. Now keep in mind, if you want to access the advanced features with PixTeller, you need to be either a pro or diamond member to, in order to access it. Since I am a diamond member, let me show you right here. Okay, see the little diamond, the yellow diamond? That means I'm a diamond account member. I'm able to access the advanced features and get the other benefits, the full subscription and um, experience with PixTeller. So we're going to do that. Uh, free users, if you are using the free account, I think you're very limited to like five designs. So you might not be able to access the advanced features with the color palette. So let's go ahead and create this actual piece of art when it comes to creating a promo. So this is a spring door buster sale 50% off. For example, let's say you're selling clothing or you're selling some other type of product online, uh, physical, tangible, physical product, or maybe you have a service that you wanna give a discount to you know, for the holidays. Well, you can create a beautiful type of image with this type of color overlay. So let's go ahead and do this from scratch. So I'm gonna go over here to my designs and I'm gonna open up a new tab here and let's go over here, create from scratch. And what I like to do is with social media images, I like to default the size to 1080 by 1080. That's pretty much the perfect size that I could actually put. And it looks great on mobile devices as well. So 1080 by width, 1080 by height. Okay. And what we're going to do is the first piece that you really want to take care of is let's go and find the colors that we want to use in combination to create our, you know, our effect to make the colorful overlay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here, click on this box, and this is the background color. So right now it's defaulted to white. We want to create that effect. So first we need to pick a primary color, like I said in the last video. So let's go with uh, this color right here. All right, now what we're going to do is we've picked this pink color and we need to go to where it says advanced. And already you're starting to see a gradient effect right here, but what we're gonna do is select either the style, so there's three different styles when it comes to gradient effects. You could do solid, linear, or radial. We're gonna click linear. Now you see what happens, everything changes in the background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a third color by clicking on the color line and I'm gonna select, go over here to where it says edit change, and we're gonna pick orange. All right, there we are, now we're gonna click okay. Now I wanna create like a diagonal effect, right, with the gradient. So I'm gonna take the number two 
and I'm just going to turn it inwards like this. See that? I'm going to bring it just about there. And you could play with this. You could put this wherever you want. I mean, it's your design, but for demo purposes, we're going to do it this way. Now that we have our gradient effect, right? We are going to click OK to confirm. You always want to click OK to confirm. And now we need to find an image, right? So let's say, for example, I was selling, um, giving a discount door buster for, um, you know, uh, those of you who are network marketing, you guys have health and wellness businesses. So let's say you're giving a discount on one of your products, right? So you could actually go to images, go to add image, and you could look up based on category. So I'll say health, and let's see what comes up under that category. So we could do something like, let's see. Hmm. Let's say you have like a juice product or something, right? Let's see. Or I'm trying to see. Oh, look at this one. Okay, that looks good too. All right. This is where it takes a little time, guys, but we're live right now doing this. So let me show you. Let's see. Great. Let's use this one. Okay, so let's say I'm using this, right? Now, obviously, you don't want to leave it like this because you want to make that picture that you just selected to be the full size image. So what we're going to do is going to select set as background. Now the whole picture is covering the overlay. How do we bring that forward? The best thing to do is go right over here to where it says 100%. And this is your opacity feature. This opacity makes the image either transparent to almost non-existent or it bleeds right into it. So watch this. I'm going to drag it from where it is at 100, bring it in. Watch what happens. See the color changing? Look at that. Now, if I bring it all the way to the end, it completely brings it back. But if I bring it somewhere in the center, it gives it that nice, cool effect. Changes the whole image, right? Now what we want to do is add some text. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and put some text in this. So we're going to grab the text feature by clicking on text. Add text. Okay. And I like to just click in the middle so I can make the text bigger so I can see what I'm doing. And I want to center it by clicking on the center adjustment. Bring it over here in the center. And let's say um, shake ology special promo. Buy one, get one. 50%. Something like that, right? So let's say you had like, you know, a network marketing opportunity that you wanted to market for and you are with a health and wellness company. I'll take Shakeology, for example. Um, you can actually do this, right? You could create something like this for a promo and you get the idea. So obviously black doesn't look good with light background. We're gonna make this white. So I'm gonna change the text to white. Voila, much better, yeah, see? And how can we make it really, really pop? There's another way to do that. I mean, I can take, most of the time here and play with this but if I go to my filters where I'm actually at the text I can create what is known as a shadow and I can drink bring this like this and look at that it makes it nice and pops right off on the screen so that's how I'm able to do that I want you to experiment go and play with this come back to this video leave me some comments you know any questions or any future tutorials you'd like me to do with Pixteller that you're trying to do that you could also do in other design programs that I haven't talked about that would be great because I love to dive into some other experiments and see how it works out with Pixteller because at this point, Canva is not on the menu. I really like Pixteller. Matter of fact, I've upgraded with Pixteller only for the mere fact that I can do much higher quality images. Like they look great online in social media versus me using Canva or PicMonkey or any of those other ones. And I like this. This is fantastic. So you don't have to say checks, you know, Shakeology or anything like that. It could be whatever opportunity you're involved in when it comes to make money online. It could be your affiliate program. It could be a make money online program. It could be uh, brick and mortar businesses, whatever you got. If you're making your images yourself, look how simple that was to just create it without CSS, without Photoshop. I did that in a snap. All right. Did you get value from today's video? I want to know. Let me know with a quick like and be sure to give me some hearts and some love and some comments underneath this video. And also, if you are looking to get access to Pixteller, I'll leave a promo code below in the video description so that you can actually get access for Diamond up to a full year with a special promo code discount right by Pixteller. Thank you so much, Pixteller, for sponsoring this video. I appreciate you. And on top of that, 
Thank you so much for watching this video today. And my name is Anastasia Hodge, AKA Coach Ace. Love you, appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.